From ten contests, he has four wins. Two of those wins coming by way of knockout, five defeats and one draw. Hailing from Edinburgh in Scotland, presenting Craig Lynch. And opposing him, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the black colour shorts trimmed with white. At the weight, he also scaled 11 stones and 3 pounds. From 17 contests, he has 16 wins. 10 of those wins coming by way of knockout with only the one defeat. Please welcome the return from Newbridge in South Wales of Bradley Sugar Sweet Rice. Timekeeper at the bell is Mr. Brian Keane from Sutton Coalfield. And the referee is Mr. Sean Messer from Dudley in the West Midlands. This is for three minute rounds. The cards give you a good clean fight. Let's have a break, step back. Protect yourself at all times, we're playing by commanders at all times. Shake hands, come on, boxing. You look to my. Bradley Price, who suffered his first defeat last time out against Ted Barmy at Cardiff Castle on a Joe Calzaghe bill in the black trunks. Coming in at the heaviest ever, 11 stone three here, and against the Scott Craig Lynch, who's having a second crack at the pro game at the age of 28, playing originally started in 1995. Took five years out. Like Price is up to light middleweight here. Whether he could get back down to one weight of a championship chance going along, we shall see. Big things were expected of him. He looked fast, flashy, and exciting early on in his career, but at the moment he's got a mini career crisis going on. Yes, he has. He's only 21, so there's still plenty of time. And with a lot an older, more mature Craig Lynch, so I just wonder what the extra weight's done. The price. Will he be stronger? Will he be more comfortable? Was it getting too much of a drain? Had a few hard ones already. It's Jason Hall and Gavin Down, you can think of. It's become pretty hard work for him in the fight with Farmy, too, where he got stopped very late on. Just a couple of seconds left in the fight. And right in the black trunks from Enzo Kawasaki's successful Newbridge stable in South Wales. He's coming in quite well here, Price, as Lynch tries to come forward, he's getting off with much better shots. There's a reach advantage here for Lynch and he can use it, but of course Price has got the speed. He calls himself sugar sweet, Bradley Price. It's hard to think he's still only 21, isn't it? <laughs> That's right, he's been around a while, been in some good fights. That's some tough ones as well, and still, she's 21. Bit hard, isn't it, when people like us are sitting at ringside saying he's got to rebuild his reputation at the age of 21. And well, I know what that's all about, I do the same thing myself. And you did as well. So he can come back from a loss like that. He showed quality in the past. Just a few defensive errors. Raises his hands pretty low, chin a little bit high, and there's... Things he's got to get through and we'll see if he can. Nice fast start from Price here. At times, he looks really classy. He's always pretty good to watch. The fellow that beat him, Barmy, is one of those uh, fighters that's been hanging around and is probably avoided by a few managers, but Price's people were happy to take the fight. Right! Probably regretted it after the time. Yeah, probably, but you know, hopefully he's learned from that and can come again. Pretty dedicated to the business price from a boxing family down in South Wales. Good opening round for him. Still to come tonight, Johnny Nelson's tech defense of his WBO Cruiserweight Championship against the Panamanian Viamo Jones. Just before that, this four round at Bradley Price at 21. They had coming up that defeat last time against Craig Lynch. He won the first round, all right, didn't he? Yes, he won the, the first round quite well. 
some nice colours. Got a little messy here and there, but it was a decent start for Price. We've just wondered, haven't we, at times, about Bradley Price's punch resistance. Yes, but, you know, he's been in tough fights. He's been pitched in pretty high. And, you know, he is young. hard old business, isn't it, when you've only lost one of your first 17 and people are asking a few questions about you. But that's the way it is, unfortunately, for the young prospect professional fighters. Well, he keeps looking for the, the uppercut price. Just trying to catch Lynch as he comes in. Lynch has been quite busy. He's lost a good turn round over the Paisley softball Kevin McIntyre for the Scottish World Away title that came back a month ago uh, with a six round points win over Joel Arney of Tottenham. His confidence ought to be all right here. We're looking to play something of a name scalp in Bradley Price. He's looking a little reddened of Lynch. He's got high guard in, just walking in, and Price getting through with a few jabs. It's obviously a bit of an optical illusion, but Lynch looks like he comes from a higher weight division, doesn't he? Looks so big alongside. with the jab, Bradley Price. And he plants himself with the uppercut like that. He's just leaving his own chin in the air. Called with a little bit of a right hand as he did that. That was one of the problems that Price has. song for you in the minute break as well. Oh, absolutely good. There's the, the good solid jab, that's winning the fight for Price at the moment, just getting it through the guard of Lynch. Now round three, I think you go for this by the way. It's quite a short distance for Bradley Price, who's made some 12 rounders already. on the inside by Lynch. <coughs> Sean Mess of the referee. It's just a slip by Price and more from a little bit of spot in the corner, causing the problem. His leg just slipped out from under him there. Nice other cut there, long range for Price. Just a feeling within that thing, isn't there? He has to tighten up the whole package, be more compact as a fighter. Yes, I think that's a definite for Price. He does need just to get it all together a bit, fall a bit loose, a little bit ungainly. He often looks good, but you just have this feeling of vulnerability about him. Have done so far in his career, anyway. Well, you do because of his defences, you know, when you hold your hand that low and you're looking to come forward, you know, he's not the elusive type. Yeah, because he had that crisis against Jason Hall when he might well have been stopped. 
So when he did get beaten, it didn't really come as a surprise. He was a, an accident waiting to happen in some respects. That's right. So he went from just a tight man more defense up. Very reddened around the eyes now, Craig Lynch. Well, he's using that jab quite well from range, just peppering Lynch with long punches. Missing with a few others as well. He's almost playing with Lynch here, Price in this round, quite enjoying himself. He's a bit too quick and waspish, it looks like, for Lynch at the moment, doesn't it? Well, so far, Lynch has got to look to try and get a decent shot on. That's his way of back into this. But to do that, he needs to throw punches, and the lack of work coming from Lynch. And to break quicker when he says so. And in the hands down and the right hand lands of Lynch. Can Bradley Price really make it to a championship level? By championship level, I mean British at the very least. scoring this at all, that's what the uh, computer saying as well, 54 to 16 in terms of punches landed, Price dominating, it's, um, it's what he wants to know, it's a rehabilitation job for him, isn't it? Yes, it, it is what he wants, what he deserves, he needs to get back into it, build a bit of confidence and just loosen up what he seems to be doing. Fourth and final round of this one. Johnny Nelson's World Cruiserweight Championship fight for you here in Derby tonight. Oh, lovely, flashy combination, and down goes Lynch. The hand speed completely defeated him, not to mention the power. Yes, he did that very well indeed. That was a lovely combination. That was dazzling from Bradley Price. Lynch again. This is snarling aggression from Price. It's all too much for Lynch, who might be stopped here in the final round. In fact, he's counted out. Stay down. I think the corner told him to stay down. They didn't want him taking any more. That was explosive in the end from Bradley Price. Now, that's what he can do. He does have this talent. Whether it will be fully realized, we wait and see. But there's nothing wrong with that. Well, that was impressive, and that's what he might bring to the light middleweight division. When he's moving up, and that was man speed that your know, fighters don't have in that division. That was good. With power, looked good, classy, and he's well pleased with that. As well he might be, because this was an impressive a burst, as you're likely to see in the British ring. This hand speed, that was blurring, wasn't it? Excellent. Uh, the right hand gets through, the left double cut gets through, there the two shots that connected, and they were enough to put Craig Lynch on the canvas. The punish was just as good as well. Shots going in. Lynch he was the so hurt as that left two hit him. Cracking shot. Probably measured at about 70 miles an hour. Well, he was already days dead when that shot landed. And that finished the job, and there was no point in carrying on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after 46 seconds of round number four, referee John Messer has reached the count of ten. Your winner by way of knockout, he certainly is back. Bradley Sugar Sweet Price. Is it? But Nicky, what about the weight there going into that fight price 11-3? Can you explain that to us? Uh, well, I think...